The Clean Water for Reefs Popo project is very, very powerful. We do feel our connection and our kuleana to place, and we are definitely tied to this entire area. There was a time when wastewater was not a problem. You know, my dad had a saying where he would always say, Kaui, there's no problem. People make problems. Hawaii Island has some very unique hydrology. We have three active volcanoes, so the surface of half of the island is made up of this fractured rock. All of our water that comes as precipitation very quickly percolates into the soil and moves down into the groundwater. In Hawaii and on Hawaii Island, on-site sewage treatment like septic tanks or cesspools are the main way of treating sewage. All the sewage goes into the cesspool and there's holes to allow the liquids to drain off. The fate of that sewage is then to the groundwater below. That groundwater then flows towards the ocean out to the shoreline. In some places, if you flush your toilet in the evening and you go for a swim in the morning, you're actually swimming in your own sewage. Even in my short time of being here, you know, 14 years or so, you have seen a decline in the fish population. And of course, we had the big coral bleaching event last year, uh, which you could see the dramatic effects of that. Corals are an, are an animal that has evolved to survive in an environment where you don't have an abundance of nutrients. And when you do begin to get more nutrients in the system, what happens is algae begin to grow. You begin to lose the coral, and when you lose the coral, you lose the fish. You lose the whole ecosystem. There are signs of impaired coral health, and um, disease levels are actually linked or correlated with some of the nutrient levels that we're seeing. So in areas where you're seeing a lot of nutrients coming in, um, we're seeing higher levels of, of disease. We understand that water quality is a huge issue, uh, not only for the health of the corals, but also human health. We had a meeting one time with Drew Harvell from Cornell. It always stuck to me, she said, George, if Puoco can't solve the problem of clean water. Nobody can. I want to swim in clean water. I want my grandkids to swim in clean water. This project means the reef is no longer neglected, that there is the exchange of they live that we may live. Whether it's the fish, whether it's an excuse me, I get emotional. The limu, um, this papa, they all live that we live. And so, for the reef to have the attention that it needs and it deserves, Puaco for us, is just an acknowledgement that that connection has never been lost. She continues to provide for us in many ways, and it is our turn to step it up and give back. Mm -hmm.